432 Hertz, unlocking the magnificence of the 3, 6, and 9, the key to the universe, by Michael Lee Hill. If you only knew the magnificence of the 3, 6, and 9, then you would have the keys to the universe. Nikola Tesla. We have been left a method of counting and measurement and the importance of dividing a unit by 12 seems to be the main rule given that has been adopted by humanity. Here are some of the ways that I found 12 to be an important number. 12 months of the year, 12 hours of a clock, 12 inches to the foot, 12 apostles of Christ, 12 constellations of the zodiac, 12 tribes of Israel, 12 nights of the round table, and there's much more. So what happens when you divide today's music standard of 440 hertz by 12? 440 hertz divided by 12 equals 36.666666667. So what happens when you divide 432 hertz, known as Verdi's A, is an alternative tuning that is mathematically consistent with the universe by 12. 432 hertz divided by 12 equals just 36. I heard it said perfectly that 440 hertz is pretending to be sacred geometry. What I'm saying to you is you should give it to somebody that don't know any better because that's a fugazi, all right? The 440 hertz is the closest one can come to the real thing while still being an imposter. 432 hertz divided by 12 equals 36. Why 36? Now if we add these numbers together, 3 plus 6 equals 9, 432 hertz equals 369, there are two ways of expressing the same thing, the real thing. Why 432 hertz? In 1936, the American Standards Association recommended that the A above middle C be tuned to 440 hertz. This standard was taken up as an international concert pitch. Hmm, I wonder why. Believe me, they know exactly what they are doing. If one should desire to know whether a kingdom is well governed, if its morals are good or bad, the quality of its music will furnish the answer. Confucius. Music based on 432 hertz transmits beneficial healing energy because it is a pure tone of math fundamental to nature. There is a theory that the change from 432 hertz to 440 hertz was dictated by Nazi propaganda minister Joseph Goebbels. He used it to make people think and feel a certain manner and to make them a prisoner of certain consciousness. Then around 1940, the United States introduced 440 hertz worldwide. And finally in 1953, it became the ISO 16 standard what is 440 hertz? 440 hertz is the unnatural standard tuning frequency removed from the symmetry of sacred vibrations and overtones that has declared war on the subconscious mind of Western men. In a paper entitled Musical Cult Control, Dr. Leonard Horowitz writes, quote, The music industry features this imposed frequency that is hurting populations into greater aggression psychosocial agitation and emotional distress predisposing people to physical illness end quote you just have to go out into the street and take a look around what do you see school kids young adults on their way to work and what do they all have in common ipods or mp3 players ingenious isn't it if you want to find the secrets of the universe think in terms of energy frequency, and vibration. Nikola Tesla They are successfully lowering the vibrations of not only the young generation, but the rest of us as well. These destructive frequencies entertain the thoughts towards destruction, this harmony, and this unity. Additionally, they also stimulate the controlling organ of the body and the brain into disharmonious resonance which utterly creates disease and war. This is the biggest mystery. For over 25,000 years, the universal truth was not available to the people of this planetary system. It is now finally being received on this planet. 
deep seekers of the truth that are open-minded and ready will receive it. Throughout history, numerous clues and hints regarding geometry and frequency have been staring at us, calling to us, and waiting for us to put them into place like pieces of a giant puzzle. Here at the dawn of a new age, this sonic geometric puzzle is finally nearing completion, revealing the building blocks of a language based on energy, frequency, and form. How will we use it? With whom will we be communicating? Now that we know the basics of this new language, maybe we are ready to begin the conversation again. The numerical coincidences are too compelling. All over the world for thousands of years, humanity has received certain number sequences, 144, 360, 432, 1080, 2160, but why? What is it about these and many other numbers that jar something so deep within us that we incorporate them into our myths and spiritual beliefs? The answer could be frequency harmonics. We measure sound frequencies and vibration cycles per second, and the numbers listed above when played as frequencies just happen to mirror the exact harmonic patterns found in nature. 432 squared is the speed of light within 1% accuracy. The timekeeping unit known as the second did not exist until quite recently in our history. So how could our ancestors know about these harmonies? Here's where the mystery gets really deep. You see, the 60 base mathematical system that led to the creation of the second is not only thousands of years old, it was supposedly gifted to humanity from heavenly visitors who came from the skies. Could the Anunnaki be communicating sacred knowledge through encoded crop circles? Next. Let's look further into how the Anunnaki encoded the 432 hertz frequency into time itself. Is our number system and method of timekeeping entirely based on 432 hertz, nine base mathematics? How many seconds are in 12 hours? 43,200. Another 432. Divide or multiply a whole unit by 12. So 60 seconds times 12 equals 43,200 seconds. 36.666 times 12 equals 440. Interesting, huh? And 36 times 12 equals 432. Check this out. 1 times 12 equals 12. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 2 times 12 equals 24. 2 plus 4 equals 6. 3 times 12 equals 36. 3 plus 6 equals 9. 4 times 12 equals 48. 4 plus 8 equals 12. 1 plus 2 equals 3. 5 times 12 equals 60. 6 plus 0 equals 6. 6 times 12 equals 72. 7 plus 2 equals 9. If you keep on going, You'll find our number system is all 3, 6, and 9, repeating to infinity. Is it possible that over the course of thousands of years, we have somehow been guided in the process of creating this new form of communication? And if so, what type of information will we learn from it that cannot be expressed any other way? The underlying primary psychic reality is so inconceivably complex that it can be grasped only at the farthest reach of intuition, and then but very dimly. That is why it needs symbols. Carl Jung 432 Hz is a harmonic of light frequency. It speaks or resonates directly with our cells. All cells communicate with each other via infrared light, so imagine when they receive music in 432 hertz, they are in joy. Sound in the air 
may be defined as the transfer of periodic movements between adjacent colliding atoms or molecules. The conscious mind may not be aware of this, but most of what goes on in our bodies is subconscious. 432 Hz truly can be considered a harmonic of light. 